All right, here's a quick one that may seem like it's a little bit redundant, but it's an important review because it's an important concept. And over the years teaching this stuff, we've figured out some things that become confusing. And so we've found ways to um, introduce them a couple different ways and repeat them a lot. And so in this P wave unit, we talked about the best view being V1. And it's a sinus P wave if it's upright and lead one, two, three, AVL, AVF and inverted in AVR, and hopefully you're well on your way to learning that. And now we want to talk about drop beats again. We talked about skipped beats, dropped beats before. We want to do that again real quick and start off with this non-conducted PAC thing where you have an early, weird-looking P wave that does not get conducted, and so there is a pause, an irregularity in the rhythm. The AV node wasn't ready for that beat to come in so early, and so you have a weird looking P wave separated by a pause. And if you look at that right before the pause in that strip, you can see how the, the T wave is kind of messed up because that early P wave came in there and kind of changed the shape of that preceding T wave. Here's AV blocks again. They have normal, normal, normal. They're all the same. None of them are early and none of them are strange looking. And so this is the, the concept of march it out, is the, is the slang that everybody uses. March out those P waves. Take you a small piece of paper and a pen, or carry a pair of calipers if you're a geek, but get you a small piece of paper, use your field calipers we call them. Don't try to use your fingers or some other, get a piece of paper, make some tiny marks, and put, make a mark at a P wave, and then make a mark at the next P wave, and then at the next P wave, I like to do three in a row, and then move that paper along the EKG and see that the P waves are all coming in on time. The P to P interval, the atrial rate is regular. None of those beats come in early. If they come in early, it's a PAC. But if they're all on time and we're dropping beats, now we're thinking we have an AV block, probably a, well, a second degree AV block. One of the flavors of that, we can't really tell without going deeper into this, but you want to march out the P waves. March out the P waves. When you have an irregular rhythm, march out the P waves. See what the atria are doing. So is it a PAC or is it a type two, um, I'm sorry, is it a PAC or is it a second degree AV block? <sighs> Gotta be precise with terminology. Is it a PAC or is it a second degree AV block? Well, PACs come, the P wave comes early and looks weird <clears throat> in the AV block. The P to P is normal. The P wave was on time and the P waves all look the same as the other waves. So I know this sounded like it was redundant and repetitive and that you've done it before. And that's right, but it's a key point. We wanted to try to separate it out from any um, noise that there was around that and really know this concept. If you have an irregular rhythm, Look at what the P waves are doing. March out the P waves. I can't tell you the number of paramedic students we've, we've worked with toward the end of their course that are struggling with EKG analysis, basic EKG strip analysis. What is the rhythm? And if they would, would really use this rule, when you have an irregular rhythm, find out what the P waves are doing. March it out. That would really, really help you. So we want to get you guys started off um, on a good foot with a good habit. March out the P waves.